This is the lovely singing and dancing star of motion pictures, television, and the Broadway stage, Carol Lawrence. Thank you. This is my partner, Howard Oberler, from Kew Gardens, New York. This is the gifted actor and star of the new hit movie, The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau, Tony Randall. Hello. This is my partner, Betty Christensen, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we're all here to play Password. Yes, it's Password. And now, here's your host on Password, Alan Ludden. Good evening. Welcome to Password. Glad to have you with us this evening. Tony, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again, Alan. Carol, it's always nice to see you. Hello, Alan. I've got to tell my friend something that you don't know. I... This lady, on top of being the most talented lady in show business, practically, is one of the best cooks in the whole world. Oh, aren't you, dear? Tell Nobody's us about... Nobody's ever said that Well, to you <laughs> are. I know, because I ate some of her cooking. Yeah. Tell me, what's the next time we're going to see you on CBS? Now, what's the next appearance? Well, I shall be doing On Broadway Tonight with Rudy Valley. Yes. And it shall be shown September 2nd. I guess that's my next CBS appearance. Good. Look for... Uh, look, Carol, for Carol next on Broadway Tonight, September oh, 2nd. Nice fine. to see you. When are you coming over for dinner again? Whenever you ask. <laughs> Next <Her> week. <laughs> All right. Harold Obeler, how are you, sir? Hi. What do you do for a living? I'm a computer analyst with a large computer manufacturer. I'm always impressed with that. Me too. I don't know what it means, but I'm impressed with it. <laughs> Tony? I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed with Howard Obeler that I... <laughs> Tony, I want to say something. I talked about Carol's cooking. Let me tell you that I've seen Tony Randall in The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau, and this is a performance you have to see to believe. It's one of the great performances I think of, of many years, Tony. How did it feel making this picture? Thank you. He's marvelous in this movie. How did you feel about that assignment? Well, I, I, it was the only time in my life when I was sorry when a job was over. I, I wanted it to go on forever. Of course, in, in, the fact is that the only real star is the writer. No. And it'll, yes, that's true. And it'll be a long time before I get seven parts that good again. All right. And you do all seven of them magnificently. Betty Christensen. What do you do? How do you spend your time, Betty? I teach English and social studies in a Minneapolis suburb. Very good. You should be a good password player. Let's get around to it. It's a game of word communication where you try to make your partner say the password with one word clues. Right. No hints. <laughs> Carol and Tony have the word. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it at home, of course. The password is crate. All right, Carol, see if you can get Howard to say that word with a one-word clue. Ten uh, points. Ah. Uh, carton. Wrapping. Carton wrapping? No. Nine points, Tony. Box. Container. Container. No. Eight points, Carol. Ah. Uh, packed. Enclosed. No. no. Seven points, Tony. Orange. All right, what do you have there? Betty, you have now seven points toward a 25-point game. The winner has $250 and a chance to win that much more in the lightning round. Password to go this time to Howard and Betty as they look at it. We'd like you to see it at home, of course. The password is ransom. Howard, ten points. Kidnap. Ah... Uh... Kidnap. Mmm. Oh, fish. I don't think that's... Snatch? No. Snatch? No. Nine no. points, Betty. Oh. Money. Money? Money. Five seconds, Tony. Abduct? Money abduct. No. Eight Kings. points. Kings. Ransom. Ransom. <laughs> Eight to seven. By the way, when you hear this sound, it means... It means your clue has not been accepted by our authority. Dr. Reason A. Goodwin, editor of the World Book Encyclopedia. Eight for Carol. Seven for the remorseful Randall. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is stare. Ten points. Tony, give you 17. Gaze. Stare? Yes!
They're within scoring distance, okay. Howard and Carol, I'll tell you that, just to make you nervous. <laughs> you did? Guessing. All right, Betty, it's okay. a nice name. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is Ripple. Howard, 10 points. Wave. Wave. Um, ocean? Ocean. No. Nine points would give you the game, Betty. Small. I was so stupid last time that I... Right. Five seconds. Uh, curl. Curl. Oh, wave, curl. Mm-hmm. No. Eight Stream. points. Stream. What? Stream. Ripple. Yes. Ripple. Ripple. <laughs> ripple. A small wave is a ripple. Small oh, wave is a little ripple. All it's right. Ripple. 16 oh, to 17. Either team can win, but you only have one chance apiece. As they oh. look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is scribble. This is your chance, Tony. Ten points, you can win. Scrawl. Scribble. You did it! You did it. You did it. Good too. Now, I, I'm pretty good at giving them, but I'm no good at taking them. <laughs> well, that's very generous of you, I think. All right, here we go. You've won the game, Betty. You have $250 and a chance to win $250 in the lightning round. Now you're going to give them, Tony. No. All right, here you go. One minute, 10 points. I mean, one minute, first word, go. Lie. Falsehood. Opposite. Truth. 50. Um, fiddle. Violin. A hundred. Jury. Trial. Magistrate. Judge. Hundred and fifty. Bread. Butter. Um, entire. Loaf. That's uh, two hundred. <laughs> Top. Bottom. That's two hundred. <laughs> Tony. You did it in 32 seconds. You see, you're very good at giving them, and you're very good at getting them. I Betty, you have $500 she's, she's for Betty wonderful. Christensen. Howard Oberly, you'll have $50. Thank, Thank you both you. for a fine game of password, and good I'm luck sorry. to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's move along now and meet two more password players, shall we? Carol Lawrence, meet your new partner from Dallas, Texas, Sarah Sue Potts. Tony Randall, meet your new partner from Minneapolis, Minnesota, James Hoyby. Another Minneapolis. You have two Minneapolis contestants in a row. Sarah Sue, let's talk to you first. Are you a working girl? Mm, yes, I work for a hospitalization plan. I'm a secretary. Fine, nice to have you here. James Hoyby, what occupies your time, sir? I'm manager of the Minnesota Pavilion at the World's Fair. Oh, you are? Oh. Well, good. Yeah. That's a lovely pavilion. <laughs> it's a great fair, too. Yes, it is. You ready to go? Let's play the game, shall we? Carol Lawrence, Tony Randall, friends. The password is wander. Tony, 10 points. Stray. Wander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the most casual playing I've seen around here for some time. 10 points is like that. All right. Sarah Sue, you'll Beautiful. start this time. Okay. See if you get Carol to say it. James? The password is echo. Sarah Sue, 10 points. Sound. <laughs> Ring? Ring? No. no, nine points, James. Reverberation. Echo. That's too much. He's playing very well. You have 19 oh, points. I should say. The men are within scoring distance, ladies. We'll start with you, Carol. Mm -hmm. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it, of course. The password is puddle. Carol, 10 points. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, droplets. Five seconds, Sarah Sue. Rain. Droplets, rain. Nine points, give the game, Tony. Pool. 
puddle. Yes. <laughs> I tried to make it very little cool. James, you realize what you just did? You just very casually answered three of the right words and just won the game like that. Very fast, very good. $250. Let's play the lightning round and see how fast you do that. You have all of one minute. It's the first word. Go. No. Yes. 50. <laughs> um, beans. Stalk. Uh, peas. Corn. Uh, tomatoes. Vegetable. Yes. Look. See. Ears. Listen. All right. 150. Door. Open. Um, iron. Knob. Uh, bars. Hinge. Uh, door. Lock. Uh, uh, um, uh, metal. Bolt. Uh, door. Better go to the next Cage. Word. Door. All right, say something. Fat. Thin. All right. <laughs> you had a block on a gate. Gate? Gate. Garden gate. I Door, said, metal, hinge. You said rusty. Rusty would have done Rusty might have done it, but you did very well. Never, I wouldn't complain, James. I you have $450 for James Hoyby. Sarah Sue Potts has 50 Thank you for a very fast oh. game of passwords. Oh, we didn't see nothing. Oh. Oh. Sarah Sue was never like that. Well, Carol, they moved right in there, didn't they? They sure did. Well, right let's see what here. happens now. I meet two more faster players. All right. <laughs> All right, surely. Carol Lawrence, meet your new partner from New York City, Drew Dave. Hello, Drew. Nice to meet you. Tony Randall, meet your new partner from Sioux City, Iowa, Sharon Schwartz. Sharon Schwartz. Sharon Schwartz. How come you're not from Minneapolis? <laughs> Drew, <laughs> you did? Yes, well, Drew, let's right. talk to you first. I know you're a law student. How are you spending your time these days? Well, I'm working for an automobile manufacturer in Terrytown, New York. Good. That's a neighbor, neighbor of mine up there. Yeah. Sharon Schwartz, what brings you to New York City? Well, number one, I'm on vacation. And secondly, I'm going up to Massachusetts to be married August 21st. Fine. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, very happy. Well, thank you. On your way to being married, I see. Well, you, uh, I'm glad you stopped by here. Right. So long. Let's play password. Carol, Tony, have the word. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. And the password is magic. Carol, um, see so if you can get Drew to say that for 10 points. Um, oh, dear. Trickery. Deceit. Deceit. No, no nine points, Tony. Prestidigitation. Prankster. Prankster. It's a very fine word, almost not like three, but it's one word. I know. Eight points, Carol. Ah, uh, fantastic. Five seconds, Drew. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No, no seven points, Five. Tony. Wand. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Six points, Carol. Um, uh, rabbit. Oh, no, I can't do that. Uh, rabbits? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had... Planned. That's all right. You <laughs> magic. <laughs> magic! <laughs> Everybody heard about magic rabbits, of course. Sure. Six points you have on rabbits, indeed. All right. Sharon, Drew, you'll give the clues this time. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is operator. Sharon, ten points. Driver. Five seconds. Automobile. Automobile, nine points, Drew. Telephone. Driver, telephone. Ah. Oh. Five seconds. Oh, it's not see. chauffeur. No, it's not no. chauffeur. Eight points, Sharon. Telephone chauffeur. Manipulator. Five seconds. Oh, wheel. Oh, wheel. Oh, no. Seven <laughs> points, Drew. Mm -hmm. Surgery. Surgery. <laughs> Operation. <laughs> Operation. Operation. No. Seven points, Sharon. 
Is that a form of the word? I'll take a form of the word, Carol. One chance to give me the precise Operator? Word. Operator. Yeah. That's a hard one to decide. I bet I'd misjudge it. Operator would be, I guess, roughly a form of the word operation. Okay. All right. You did it. And I'm sorry I didn't grab it faster. You ready to go, Tony? Yes. New word. Tony, Carol, friends. The password is Bud. <laughs> There's just one clue for this word as far as I'm concerned. Ten points, Tony. Rose. Garden. Garden. Nine <laughs> points, Carol. Uh, small. Small. <laughs> small. Five seconds. True. Bush. Bush. <laughs> Eight points, Tony. Flower. Bud. Bud. Yes. But in our book, the clue has to be Collier. Oh, yes. Bud Collier. All right. Oh. 13 to 8. Password goes to Drew and to Sharon. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is passport. Drew, 10 points. Give you 23. Credentials. Identification. Identification. Nine points, sir. No. Overseas. Passport. Yes. yes. There you go. <laughs> 17 to 13, which means that Tony and Sharon can win on this. The oh. word's going to go to Carol and Tony. Okay. And you'll start, Carol, so you could keep uh -huh. them from it. Uh, well, I'll... There you go. There you go. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is multiply. Carol, 10 points. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, repopulate. Five seconds, Drew. Bear? No. Bear, and nine points to give you the game, Tony. Divide. Multiply. Yes! Oh! <laughs> All right. Yes. The trick here is to do it, as you know, in one minute. Here's the first word. Go. Um. Mm, gas. <laughs> Car. Uh, air. <laughs> Anything, Sharon. Station. Hurricane. Wind. Yes. <laughs> Spade. Dig. Instrument. Shovel. That's a hundred. Uh, slice. Cut. A hundred and fifty. Uh, ash. Tray. Two hundred. Go. Stop. Two hundred and fifty. An unprintable association. Thirty-one seconds. <laughs> 31 seconds. Sharon Schwartz has $500. Drew Days, you have 50. Thank you both for a very interesting game of passwords. All right. All right. Tony's won three games, Carol. We have time for a fourth. Let's move along and get the fourth okay. password players in. Shall we? Carol Lawrence, meet your new partner from Wakefield, Massachusetts, Frank Hurley. Hello, Frank. Tony Randall, the journey partner from Peoria, Illinois, Mary Lou Mead. Frank, quickly, what do you do for a living, sir? I'm training here in New York for the Boston office of a stock brokerage firm. Nice to have you, Mary Sue. You're studying. What are you studying? Uh, I'm studying psychology and dramatics at Bradley University. Well, this is a good game for Alan, you, then. Alan, you yeah. ought to tell the people at home the color of this girl's hair. It's so remarkable. It's, it's red. Beautiful, really red. red, though. Real red, 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 Beautiful. yes. We'd like you to see the word now. The password is pet. Mm. Now, Tony, <laughs> 10 points and good luck. Um. No gestures. <laughs> Cuddle. Hug. Hug. Nine points, Carol. Stroke. Squeeze. Stroke, squeeze? <laughs> Not necessarily. No. Eight points, Tony. Caress. 
Love. Love, seven points, Carol. Pat. Pat. Yes. Pat. Pat. Very good. You pat a pat. Seven points over here. Password to Frank and the Mary Lou. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. Here you go, Mary Lou. The password is moth. I've got to start with you, Mary Lou. Ten points. Bug. Insect. Insect. Nine points, Frank. Flame. Bug flame. Uh, moth? Yes. Oh. You did a ballet of a butterfly and a flame, yes. didn't you? Yes. I was so certain it was Firefly after Bug Flame. Very good. They have 16 you could win on this. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it at home. The password is anniversary. Tony, 10 points. Centenary. Say it again. Centenary. Or as they say in England, centenary. Centennial? Centennial? No. Nine points would give you the game, Carol. Wedding. Reception. Reception. No, it didn't give it a game. Eight points, Tony. Ah. Uh, um. Five seconds. Yearly. Yearly. Anniversary. Yes. <laughs> All right, now it's 16 to 8, and the password goes to uh, Frank and Mary Lou. Oh. No. no. Didn't you just give the clues? Yes. No. All right. Then no. it goes. No. <laughs> I'm so I'm All right. Here we go. Frank and Mary Lou. As they look at it, we'd like you to see. It. He was right, and you said no. I know. Password is scratch. Ten points, Frank. Would give you the game. Itch. Scratch. Yes. <laughs> David again. <again. laughs> it's scratch. You have two hundred fifty dollars, Frank. Carrie, gonna play the lightning round. Okay. The trick here is to do as you know. In one minute, here's the first word. Go. Goodbye. Hello. Fifty. Uh, hot. Cold. Hundred. <laughs> uh, push. Shove. Um, the other way. Uh, opposite. Pull. Yes, hundred and fifty. Uh, clothes. Open. Man's. Suit. Right. Yes, hundred and fifty. Uh, babies. Diapers. Bed. Crib. Yes. <laughs> Carol, you and Frank. Did it within the magic circle and well within the magic circle. You did the whole five passwords, giving you $500, Frank, in 21 seconds for oh. Frank Curley and Carol Lawrence. Very good. That's my answer. You're up to go. Mary Lou Mead, of the lovely red hair, you have $50, and thank you for a fine game of password. Thank you. Was... <laughs> Next week, our guest stars will be the exciting star of Supper Clubs and Recordings, Edie Gourmet, and one of the great storytellers of our time, comedy star Bob Newhart. You know, that'll be interesting to see Bob Newhart here on Password Master. It'll be the first time Bob's ever played Password with us, and I'm interested to see how he does it. You know, he's going to be on regularly this fall on CBS. Yes, I yes, do. Yes, on The Entertainers with Carol Burnett. Yes. Tony, it was a real pleasure playing Password with you again tonight. Thank you. You know... You? Yeah. Tony, this is your third time here, right? Yes. Don't you feel that every time you come around that you do this a little better all the time? Yes. Why don't you come play five days a whole week with us Sunday? <laughs> uh, well, maybe I will sometime. Thank you. All right. If we ask you, you might say yes now. Huh? I might say no. Yes, I know. <laughs> I, thought we, I, I thought I might corner you here in front of all my friends. I knew what you were up to. Dr. Lau's wonderful movie, Seven Faces of Dr. Lau, Tony playing seven marvelous parts. Carol, it's always good to see you. Thank you. You come back to see us. We'll look for you on the Broadway Tonight Show with Rudy Valley in a couple of Gotta weeks. Got to have Carol on with her husband. We have had Carol on with Bob Goulet, and Bob is coming back, but I don't think with Carol. No. There's a competitive thing there. I think it's better we keep them separately, all right? <laughs> Good luck to both of you. We'll see you Thank all you. next Thursday tomorrow on Daytime Password. Until then, this is Alan Ludden saying the password tonight is Mexico. To learn about our next-door neighbor, our partner in the fight for freedom, write for this interesting free booklet. Mexico, Box 1900, New York. So long. See you tomorrow afternoon. I hope. <laughs> Oh,
On the newlywed game, Carney pops the questions you never ask. Is your wife usually facing the ceiling, the wall, or the pillow? If you had to compare your husband's package to a residence in New York... And gets the answers you'd never expect. My wife and I are kind of kinky. I wax his back. It's completely... Nasty. I'm trisexual. I'll try anything <laughs> sexual. You did not just say that. My mom is going to kill me. The Newlywed Game, weeknights at 6, 5 Central, only on GSN. You naughty boy.